Here's the first installment of Leopard Gecko Genetics 101. Identifying a hypo versus a super hypo. Right here, he's a, she's a hypo. See her spotting? Here, I'll pick her up. See her spotting down her back? She's a hypo. She has no bands either, just a hypo. Right here, she's a super hypo. See her odd mark? Oh, she can accept. Gosh, enough! See her markings right there? Oh, she is pretty good. She is a super hypo. Right here. She is a possible super hypo. I am not 100% yet. She is losing her spotting on her back, so here's hoping. Pandora, super hypo tangerine carrot tail. She might be baldy too, her spotting's fading. But see her odd markings on her back. Ghost. And then lastly, super hypo tangerine carrot tail baldy. No spotting, no spotting on the head. The hypo gene is considered uh, co-dominant. So crossing it with anything else will give you a possibility of having that as an off, uh, that having a hypo as an offspring. Him, if he was bred to the hypo, there are chances of super hypotension and carotel baldies and hypos and all that. These two bred together, well, I'm sure you can figure that out. But if he was bred to a high yellow or a normal, there's a chance that they'd come out super hypo. There's better chance that they'd come out a hypo and then there's chances of normals and high yellows. She, she's a, she, her mom right here, her mom's a super hypotension carrot tail bald, or carrot tail, possible baldy, but her father is actually a tremper albino. So, she came out like this. Her spotting is going down, so she might be a super hypo, but right now she's just a hypo. She is a super hypo, no spotting whatsoever. She is a hypo. Yeah, these guys are my rescues, so they're demonstrating. But what can, what makes them a hypo is reduced spotting. What makes them a super hypo makes no spot means no spotting. So there's that a little bit. It's a codominant gene. If you read it with something else, the offspring is a possibility of being that. Um, putting them back right now. They're really stressed. They I don't handle them much anymore. But yeah, that's what makes a hypo a super hypo, and what's what makes them better or higher up on thing than a uh, high yellow or normal. Yeah, you can see her her odd band. It's not. It's all connected in that circle. No, you're not jumping trouble. Shoot. Freaked out there. Right, right here, this is a hypo snow. She was her father was a super hypotender in Kerto Bali and her mother was a super snow. This is what she came out as. She is still considered a hypo as she was crossed. She's a hypo snow, but she obviously has more than ten spots. But she's still a hypo snow because she is reduced spotting of a snow. I'll have to cover the snows in a different different video because there's a lot on them and about them. But since snow and hypo is a codominant, both of them are. So she came out with both. She's pretty though.